Alright, Mr. Claxton's Algebra 2 class. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show everyone just the process here for solving an equation by completing the square. Uh, I gave myself an equation right up here. Now I'm going to solve it by completing the square. So I, I've started this process already to kind of expedite uh, this video so that it's not as long. You can see what I started with. I want to get the constant term on the right side. The constant term is this 40 right here. So I'm going to add 40 to each side. By adding 40 to each side, I now know that I'm going to have x squared plus 18x is equal to 40. Beyond that, in the next step, I want to check to make sure that I have a coefficient of 1 for that x squared. My a value needs to be 1. I can move on. Do not need to make it any, um, any harder than it already is. And number 3, the linear term is that b value. Uh, with that b value, uh, or the b value is 18. So I'm going to take half of 18 and square it. 18 divided by 2 and square it. I know that 18 divided by 2 gives me a whole number, 9. Um, therefore, 9 squared is 81. I now want to add 81 to each side, but I'm going to go ahead and show that as 9 squared instead of um, instead of just adding 81 to each side. And you'll see why later. Because down here in number 5, I want to write the resulting perfectly square trinomial as the square of the binomial. So what's happening here is I have that special case, that special case that we talked about the other day, where we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And just to kind of show you in reference to this example, I have my x squared term plus, I could call 18, 2 times 9 times x. plus 9 squared. And I know when I have that special form, I get the quantity a plus b squared. So because of that, I know I'm going to have x plus 9, that quantity squared. The reason why I didn't bother to even square, I didn't even use the mental power to square 9, is because down here, I know that it's just going to go straight back to x plus 9 squared. I could have squared that 9 up here and called it 81, but this gives me a pretty good idea of what I'm going to have as my second term there. So x plus 9 squared is now going to equal, and unfortunately I do have to square that 9 on this side when solving, 40 plus 81. So in step 6, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set x plus 9 squared equal to 121. And after I do that, I know that I can use square roots to take care of that squared term. I can square root both sides, and when I square root both sides by using inverse operations, right, using that inverse operation there. Remember, I have to account for the positive and, and negative. That's going to leave me with x plus 9 on the left-hand side, because I know the square root of any squared term um, is just what's inside the parentheses there. Set equal to, and I know my perfect squares, so I know that 11 squared is 121, so I know this is going to be plus or minus 11. And then in the last step, remember that plus or minus, or you can say plus and minus, uh, the book right now is using or. So I'm going to say I know x plus 9 is equal to positive 11 and x plus 9 is equal to negative 11. So really, I have two different 
equations there. And like I said before, I, I always struggle with this. Um, the book right now, we're going to use 4. It's going to be plus 4 minus. We're going to do what we're supposed to. Then we're going to say that we know that x equals 11 plus 9. And I have to do the same thing. Or, er, goodness gracious, Mr. Claxton. I want to subtract 9 from each side. Messed up a little bit there. It should be 11 minus 9. Always want to check your work. That's why you want to show steps. Or x equals negative 11 minus 9. So now for my final answer, I know that x is going to equal 2. Or x is going to equal negative 19. One of the two. And I know those are also my x-intercepts. Those are also my roots of the equation. Those are the x-intercepts of the parabola made by this right here, x squared plus 18x minus 40. Those are called the roots of the equation. They're also called the zeros. So now that I've just solved that, I'll go ahead and identify that as my solution, or solutions rather, uh, and I'm done.